Do you have corporate days? Do you have days where your friends invite you out to play golf, but you have no confidence? You don't know how to play exactly? Well, I'm going to show you quickly how to become an 18 handicap. I'm playing left-handed. I'm not amphibious. I only play right-handed. So let's see, which is a very simple thing we can do with the shots we have doing a lot of course management. I'm going to set this driver upright because we expect a, a big slice. And of course, we hit a dead straight. Wow, that's lucky. I didn't know I had that shot, but now I do. If you're scared of a chunk, which is when you just like and the ball just rolls 50 yards, 30 yards in front of you, just get this little hybrid out and just hit a little chippy shot. We've got about 236 yards. I'm not going to clear this tree on the right. I don't have the skill, but I can see it's wide open down there toward that bunker. So if I can just chip one about 100 yards with a six, six hybrid, I should be money down there. Like, see what I mean? It's, you, you're not going to chunk that. Just a little pitcheroonie. <laughs> now, what I like about this technique is that I'm not hitting bad shots all over the show. I'm keeping it close to the ground and keeping the game moving so I'm not holding up play. If I can just get another one like that last one. Look at that. Now I'm going to be near the green there, rolling up. It's a bit soft around there. Now I'll just chip it on and see if I can make a good score. We've got two shots here. We can chip it on with a sand wedge or pitching wedge or I can just hit myself a beautiful putt, which in my opinion for me is the higher percentage play because I don't, I've never chipped left-handed or don't do it much. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. We just use the shots we have. Now we want to make this. We do. But it's very difficult to read a green. I don't know why it changes when I change the side of the ball. I'm going to go just a little bit outside the cup here and if we can two putt here we're laughing yep that's fine got a good line which isn't hit it there you go it's not bad for a six on a very long 410 yard hole now let's tear that up a little bit higher give us some confidentiality um i'm just swinging like half a swing here because it just removes all the complications that happen if i swing too long so a little four hybrid from 160 And you see that's going to happen, right? But we're playing 18 handicap golf, so I can still pitch it on from there. So let's not get too upset with a bad shot as long as it's gone close to the hole. We left ourselves 73 yards, so I'm going to try the sandwich full shot for the first time. And if we can get it on or around the green, we're there for two, which is perfect. Around the green, now we just take two shots to get up and down from there. It can be very hurtful that I would suggest that we need to two putt to get to an 18 handicap, but that's the reality of golf. Doesn't matter what handicap you're going for, two putts around the green is really going to get you to where you want to go. It takes a little bit of practice. I don't practice lefty, but I'm a pretty good putter right handed, so I'll take that with me. And that's okay. Okay, we're 18 handicappers. We're going to hit ourselves a little hybrid off the tee here. Stay in play, boy. Not that long, but you know what? We're in play. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. 100 yard. We've hit a 100 yard shot and we're going to keep this train moving. Not too much thinking. Going to take another hybrid and try bunt it down to about the 100 yard zone. That's not our best, but you know what? We're getting closer, and I think I'm going to hit a full shot from there. Let's see if I can hit one through the ball. 140 with the six hybrid. Wow, on the green. Hey! <laughs> okay, boyfriends, maybe we're going to get lucky here. We're going to read this little putski. I think I'm just going to go just dead at it. Come on, one par. Oh, I turned the other way. That's okay, that's okay. We just keep this train moving. Beautiful, little five ski. That's how we do it. We're gonna play driver here. We're feeling a little confidential with it. Now I'm, I'm messing around with my grip, 
try to get a strong grip and then try to get that other hand over a little bit. Maybe it'll help me turn the ball over instead of leaving that face wide open for a big old slice of roux. So I'm going to aim this center left, hopefully. And if it slices, that's fine. <laughs> okay, let's go. We're in a bad shape here, but if we can go 340 yards in three shots, we're going to do really well. But one of those shots, I think, needs to come from the other side of that water. So I'm going to have to try get this punch shot out here as long as I can so that I have an easy shot to cross the water. So my fourth shot is on the other side of the water. So this one is going to take a lot of commitment and just trust that I'm going to make contact with the ball to fly out. Go, 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 go. Now if that rolls, I got a nice shot straight over the water. We've hit that to 215 yards, which means we have two shots of like 105, 110 yards. I gotta cross this water. I don't wanna hit my final shot to the green from down there because it gives me the boo boo jibbies. So I'm gonna try go right here and just try cross it with the nine iron. The nine iron is the lowest lofted iron I brought today. And I don't trust the hybrid to go in the air. Go, go, oh, just over. <laughs> I don't really think I have the distance on my sandwich to go 85 yards, but if I hit a pitching wedge too well, maybe I'm over the back. So I'd rather be short here and have a little putski onto the green. And I just hope you understand the level of genius you are witnessing here, because who is gonna do this and show you how to score? Playing left-handed like a beginner, hands are aching. Come on, Maddie. Sandy Witch. Sit down. That is so lucky. Come on. Most of the time when you're trying to get to an 18 handicap, it's the three putts that get you. We need to reduce those. And the only way you can really reduce them is by practicing your putting. Very few people practice their putting. So if you want to be in the top 5% of golfers, you can beat 95% by just going to practice your putting. Wow, not bad. Keep in mind, I'm playing crappy balls as well. I've had these Innesis golf balls for about six years now, and I used to practice with them in Malaysia, just maybe two dozen of them, and they've got scratches all over them. So the ball is from my practice bag. You don't need fancy golf balls for this. Let's see if we can just get the grip nice here. Nice solid grip. And let's see, maybe if we have a nice solid grip, we won't slice as much. Yeah, definitely don't slice as much. A bit of a block, so it comes out left, but we're in the fairway and we're laughing. We've still got like 190, and I don't have a club that can go there. The green is actually behind the bushes here, and there's water behind the bushes. So I'm going to hit this way out to the right to open up a shot to the green. I'm going to go with the pitching wedge because I can, I can trust that that's going to be sort of okay. And if I can set up a shot of like less than 100, like 85, now we know the sand wedge goes that distance. Let's see if I can get this to that big ass tree on the right, that'll be money. Oh, a bit far, a bit far right. So we should have another pitching wedge or nine iron. Not gonna lie, 100 yards is a bit of a scary one from here because we're heading toward water so hopefully I can hit like the back right of the green here because there's some space over there or just short right and have a chip. So let's just go at the pin and if we pull it, we're good. And if we hit a short one right, we're good as well. We, we ran through the bunker and up onto the slope. I know that as right-handed, the slope is gonna add loft because you're getting your shoulders in line with the slope. So instead of just leaning into it and bashing the club into the ground, if I get my shoulders going parallel with the slope, I can swing up the slope and with a bit more loft. I probably should use a nine, but I'm gonna use a pitching wedge here. Not a 56, a 56 get changed to a 64 degree here. This pitching wedge will change into like a gap wedge. 
Wow, that's better than I can do right-handed. Ah, what a beautiful day though, hey? What a beautiful day. That's how you become an 18 handicap, following that strategy. I just played that left-handed. I know that you have got better shots than I do. Use what you got. Watch this video here to understand how to get even better to 15 handicap golf.